Hi, my name is Eric Swanson. I am the author of the book Closet. As you can tell, there's some paranormal aspects to my book. You can read an excerpt. It's on my website, ericjohnswanson.com. And there you can order a hard, co hard, bo hard book copy like this. Or you can uh, order a book and as a, for the e-reader on Nook or Kindle, should be available on the iPad sometime soon. I'm just going to mention some aspects to my book. Uh, one thing I want to mention now that it's Halloween is I have a witch in my book. I also have a demon named Ra. I mentioned this before. I also have uh, creatures that are zombies, or I didn't label them as zombies. They, they're our followers, or they have been deceived by the demon named Ra and, and the witch in this book. They go around, they have, basically they have no blood within them, their blood has been taken out. They can't see, their eyes have been taken from them because Ra and Sally have this, well Ra in particular has this belief that he needs, that he's in darkness or he knows he's in darkness and he needs other people's eyes so he can get out of the darkness that he's in. So he uh, manipulates, convinces, whatever he has to do to get eyes from other people. And that's part of the reason why he wants to sacrifice uh, the main character's son named Timothy to get his eyes and blood. And I, all that's just to say that we could be living in darkness as well. We may think that we can see, but in reality that if we're following the world and the things of the world, then we're living in darkness as well. We may think that we're living an abundant life of parties and sex and drugs and whatever else is out there that the world has to offer us, but in reality, all that fails in comparison to what God wants to give us through His Son, and that is Jesus. And that's the abundant life that we can have. But many of us settle for something less than the abundant life. We settle for a meteor mediocrity type life instead of the abundant life, which I mentioned before. The, the abundant life is through Christ and doing things His way when God says don't He's really saying don't get hurt when God says don't have sex outside of marriage He's doing that for our own good so that we don't get hurt in life it's hard to understand that at times especially with what the media tells us, what sitcoms tells us, what we've been hearing our whole lives, but if we want to live a life of no regret, of one that we're not ashamed of, then God's way is always the best way. And I just want to mention that I have a website it's uh, ericjohnswanson.com and from there you can order a copy of my book. You can read an excerpt. It's available on Nook and Kindle. So I encourage you to look at those options. And uh, I'll leave for now. Thanks.